it's exciting. God bless you, whoever listening, with my sharing. I deeply feel in my spirit that God will strengthen you. As I said before, it was really God, Holy Spirit inspire me to share the word. And I can see the word right now we need a gospel. And right now we need to encourage each other with the gospel. When Jesus triumph enter into Jerusalem victory. People glorify, people thankful, people see Hosanna. In that time, when all things going on, people were so, so excited, so thankful, believe in Jesus Christ. And other side, the Pharisee and the priests are looking after to kill Jesus, to crucify Jesus. When all this going on, there is one specific things here I want to share. Very unique. When Jesus entered into Jerusalem, Jesus went into the temple. Let's see. Jesus entered into Jerusalem and then he entered into the temple of Jerusalem. Like, example, you, you were traveling somewhere, a vacation, a month, and then you come back to our city, and then you're so excited to see the family and just go to the church and thankful to God. I'm sure right now the COVID-19 locked on everything, especially the believers. When the church will open, I know for sure you will so excited to come to the church and be together with our Christian brothers and sisters. So here, what I want to share is that when Jesus entered into Jerusalem, one very unique thing is he entered into the temple of Jerusalem. Yeah, he entered into the temple of Jerusalem. Wow, it's powerful. You see very clearly in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 21. I just want to point verse 12 onwards. When Jesus entered into Jerusalem, he entered into the temple of Jerusalem and he cleans the temple of Jerusalem. And verse 12 it says very clearly. Then Jesus went into the temple of God and threw out all those who brought in the soul in the temple and the overthrown the tables of the money churches and the seat of those who sold to. Wow. It will be a big shock or hurt. Why I see is that when Jesus entered into the temple, you know, when you go to the temple, you want to come and pray. But the temple was become a market. Example, you come to our church after this COVID-19 when it's open. And then if we, the church, our, our church was like, as we open bazaar, making food, 
not only the food but selling exchange and all this that there was no place to sit all the stranger from the city from the market if we open that how you will feel that you were expecting to come to church as it was but suddenly the church was filling up with a lot of things it's become like a bazaar all the things ceiling all the things stranger you know open like a bar or open many things in the church that there was no bliss on Sunday morning that you cannot come and hear the gospel how, how you would react as a member of our church I'm sure you will be very disappointed because you excited on Sunday morning to come to church to have a parade to have a worship but suddenly it's not there suddenly it's become a bazaar it's become a market some will be discouraged and walk away some will complain i'm sure some will be screaming out no we pay for this church and this is not what we are going to do many things will happen but i'm not talking about right now in that but just i'm just bringing a reflection when jesus entered into the temple he cleansed the temple because it was a market people are money exchange he threw it out everything the bible says he threw out all to so proud and soul in the temple and overthrown the temple of the money chargers in the seat of two so soul dwarfs it's become a business symbol and what Jesus said in verse 13 and he said to them it is right and my house shall be called a house of prayer but you have made it a den of thief that's what he said my house should be house of prayer then the blind and the lame came to him in the temple and he healed them when jesus cleansed the temple and then threw it out all the business and cleans out what was happen the blind people come in the lame people come in the temple and he healed them is it not wonderful but when the chief priest yeah here also we can see first 15 but when the chief priest in the script saw the wonderful things that he did i'm just reading from the scripture and the children crying out in the temple in saying hosanna to the son of david they were indignant and said to him do you hear what this are saying and jesus said to them yes have you never read out of the mouth of the baby and nursing infants you have perfected praise then he left them and went out of the city of Bet- to bethany and he launched there he entered into the Jerusalem when he entered into the temple the temple become a market it's a business so Jesus cleansed the temple and after he cleansed the temple the blind the lame people come in he healed them 
And when he healed the miracle, even the children were praising God. And you see in this that the priests, Pharisee, are not happy. Because they already make their mind that looking to kill the crucified. Because they already have a mind of fear because people believe him. He done a lot of miracle, a lot of disciple, but also in Jerusalem, many Jewish turn back to Jesus after seeing miracle of Lazarus rose from the dead. So when he entered, people honor him. So imagine there will be a thousand people after him. And the temple was become a marketplace so people can now go in. It's become a market, it's become a business. So when Jesus cleans, I can imagine how people will be. The church is locked down. And when the church declare, you say it's open. Especially our international people. When I just telling you the church is open, we're going to have a celebration. I'm sure you will be very happy, including we grown up in Cherlin and come to the church happy again, rejoice and celebrating and praying. That's what we miss right now. But you know what? In this time, as Jesus entered into the temple, what the word of God said, you are the temple of God. And make your temple holy. So wherever you are right now, make your temple holy. Cleanse your temple. As Jesus, when he cleansed the temple, he said, my house will be a house of prey. So in this situation, locked on, in this situation, allow Jesus to cleanse your life by the blood of Jesus Christ. In this lockdown season, if your temple is not holy, if your temple is not clean, allow Jesus to clean your temple. Surrender all to Him and make your temple a holy temple and make your temple a prayer temple. It's been a time of prayer devotion and I'm sure you will be very happy for that because you will be blessed so when Jesus entered into the Jerusalem he entered into the temple remember that he cleansed the temple he said my temple should be a holy temple and that is what God you are holy temple. He want you to be a holy temple. Holy life. And Jesus said, my temple should be a prayer temple. And he want you to live your life a holy. Also he want you to be a prayer for life. And heal. When Jesus cleansed the temple, when he said, my house will be a prayer temple, people come in, he healed them. So when you, when you purify your life and make holy, surrender to God, and allow Jesus to cleanse your life, allow the blood of Christ cleanse your life, and pray. The Lord will heal you, heal your sickness, restore your life, bless you, and give victory all your problems. Believe it. Trust. Have faith. And then your life will be powerful life. The power of God will work in your life. Because when Jesus cleans, pray, power come down, heal, 
and your life will be joyful life praising God as children when children see the mighty miracle of Jesus in cleansed the temple what children they were hosanna everybody will see even the little children everywhere you go people will see something unique in your life So, in this time, when Jesus entered into Jerusalem, he cleansed the temple. He blessed the people of God. He healed the people of God. A stand for those people who are thirsty. And he don't stay there. You, you see after that he went out to the sea out of the city to the pitani and he lodged there he cleansed the temple he went to the pitani and lodged there time to get with his disciple and i just want to reflect to you that make your life clean holy pray surrender to God allow the presence of the Lord and Jesus will be with you but here in this Easter season I just reflect what is going to happen so that you understand more from the Bible so you read Gospel of Matthew chapter 21 and there you see especially right now what i talking about is from verse 12 to verse 17 and there you see that jesus cleansed the temple and it was the before he crucified after took over lazarus healed from the dead enter into jerusalem with victory but also he entered into the temple and cleansed the temple. And all this journey, the Pharisee, the priests are not happy, not supporting, but looking after to kill him. But he got a victory over them. I want to encourage you don't be like priest in Satusi in the season of lockdown. Don't look it to the negative side. But look it to the positive side. Don't look it to the to be fear to be panic, panic, but look it to hope. And there is hope in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Allow in your temple and he will make you and he will bless you. So this is what I want to encourage you in this season. Make you temple holy. But also understand and reflect Jesus how he cleansed the temple and how he reflect our personal life that we are the temple of God. And he want to tell us make our temple holy in this season. So that resurrection power victory will take over every steps in our life amen bless you how do we thank you cleanse our temple as you cleanse the temple of Jerusalem in teaching us we thank you in this season lord we need you more than ever before lord you come and help us to make our temple holy and show us your mighty miracles and give us victory and blessing help us to focus on you and help us to be strong in your presence lord we need you more than ever before in jesus christ of nazareth we ask to bless everyone who watching and listening this teaching in jesus name we pray amen amen bless you